you can't go by he they pronouns you you are born as a woman such a nice beautiful girl you were what, what demon has gotten into you kritika i am not a girl this is Oh, I should sure realize this when I caught you wearing my leather jacket the other day. You look pretty good in them, just like uh, me back in the day. God, what would society say? Such a good girl you used to be, eh? It's it's all that Western culture influence. Come back home, and we'll make a nice lady out of you. I'll call one good priest also, and he'll get this demon out of you. I would have stopped your stupid football classes if I'd known this was going to happen. What is all this nonsense? And what was that show you were telling me about? Sheila, Sheila, I used to make for you so nicely when you were a small girl. I used to feed you with my own two hands, and now this is how you pay me back for all those years. Then wasted? <laughs> no, but I told you, you were spoiling her. But no one listens to me. Face what is happening right now. Mom, Dad, what is this nonsense? Ishan's feelings are valid, and I won't see you stomping all over them like this. You can't just make them cry and be so inconsiderate about them. You can't. The feelings Karthik, are valid. Karthik. I'm fine, Karthik. I just have a bout of hay fever. There are an abnormal amount of flowers. Oh here. come on! You're Sorry. fooling no one. Oh, You're literally I crying. I done wrong to get such disgusting children. Look, look, Bhagat. These are your children. How wonderful! Just like you. Our children. Uh, Beta, uh, I don't exactly understand what you're saying or feeling, but you will always remain my chiku. I will always love you and support you no matter what happens. And I will also send you your favorite gooseberry pickle every month. You really like that, no? Yeah, that's nice. Thanks. You do not get what she's saying. Uh. How how about I don't care? This is all your family's doing, Bhagat. This disease and all is your fault. My daughter turning into this disgusting weirdo, this shameful thing. I I will die before I accept this monster as my daughter. I will not have it debate and degrade my existence before me. I can cite several research papers that say what I'm feeling and going through is natural and valid, and so something I'm doing to rebel or seek attention. And even if I'm, if I don't cite papers, you should have the decency to acknowledge what I'm feeling. And if it's about they, them pronouns, yes, you can use them to refer to an individual, as you may have learned in grammar class. Or did you forget that also, like all my football matches? I would like you to understand that I am still your child and not a monster. This is reality for me, and all I ask for is for acceptance and validation for who I am. No, I am not possessed by some demon or influenced by Western culture. For once, for once in my entire life, I feel like I belong somewhere, and that somewhere is not in the body of a girl. Every time I was referred to as Miss, girl, it was off. Now that I know, I feel so so much happier. You have no idea how much turmoil I went through, feeling like I was faking it every step of the way, trapped in the body of someone else. You, you have no idea how much the thought of just taking a knife and flattening my chest occurred to me. How much even just looking at myself in the shower and seeing what I actually looked like under all the layers I wore made me cry. You have no idea how liberated I felt when I played a character without any gender. How euphoric I felt when I wore my first band. How I felt like I finally belonged when I changed my pronouns to he, they, and my name to Ishan. Yes, I will wear my bangles and dress masks and cut my hair and get tattoos and ruin my body, as you like to call it. But you know what? It's my body, and it's none of your business what I do with it. I just, I just wanted you to acknowledge me and love me regardless, but it's. Seems like you aren't even capable of that. You just continue to misgender dead name me with zero regard for my feelings. I just want nothing to do with you. Just nothing. Where, where, where did we go wrong? What has this world come to? 
boys liking boys, girls liking girls, boys becoming girls, and now girls becoming boys. What next? They want to be dragons and have surgery to breathe fire. I mean, not gonna lie, that will be really cool. Lama. Karthik, can you not? Hmm. Is it ironic though, Laddu? <laughs> I told you not to call me that, Jagat. <laughs> oh, I still remember the time you were picked to play Supernaka in that one annual day play. <laughs> wow, even even I remember that play. Uh, what a big fit you threw after the play was done, and when your mother was trying to get the costume off you. That was because it was cold outside. Also, oh, I was sweltering. Why more. are we discussing this? Yeah, but but you were a happy laddu that day, and people said how they had never seen a happier laddu before that, a happier surpanaka before that. The, okay, what has this to do with anything? Exactly. Yeah, we do digress. The point is, you are a hypocrite, and Ishan deserves much better. Better, better. What do you mean better? We have done everything we can. We have given the best for Kritika, letting her go to the stupid football classes, and even abroad to college. What do you mean letting them go to college? That is literally the bare minimum. Ah, uh, uh, don't you get started with this damn business? Oh, the sooner you accept it, the better. The point is, they are still your child. Nothing has changed. If you can't accept that, then I don't even know what to oh, say. Oh, shut up! You don't, you don't get to say anything. You've wasted your own life, and now you want my children to do the same. Excuse me. I think he's just trying to say that all your questionable life choices don't really allow you to be in a position to question our parenting. Jagat, you don't even have kids. Dad. No. Oh, maybe no. you shouldn't have had kids. You're hypocrites, both of you. No man, no wonder you married each other. Before questioning my life choices and commenting on them, maybe you should take a look at your silent lives. Yeah, they also got separate. Oh, oh. Dad, it's been a long time. Long time, yeah. It's been a long time since Ishan started feeling uncomfortable with himself. Wait, hold on. What do you mean, long time for Ishan? Yeah. They mentioned this to me about ten years ago, and they were extremely ten hard. years. Ten years. You knew this, and you didn't tell us. We could have cured your sister so long ago, but no, you chose to help her and hide her illness. And, uh, both of my children are such a disgrace. How will I even show my face now? Uh, like you showed it as a divorcee. Ten years, you, you guys, you guys have been keeping such huge secrets from your parents. Where? Where did we go wrong? Maybe it was the divorce. Okay, can you shut up now? Kirti, don't talk to my father like that. You never had a control on your tongue. Oh, and you let him continuously slander me like that, huh? This is why it never worked. This is exactly oh, why. Such a. Such a what? Huh? Such, such a, a what? Okay. Tell me. Okay, before you go again. I have a life that I need to get to, and I can't. I can't deal with all this crap of yours. Why? Why are you even doing this? Why are you doing this to Ishan? They are still the better kid, the kid that made you proud by scoring amazing marks, the the kid that was the captain of the football team who backed victory after victory for the school. Nothing has changed. Nothing except for a few. If for a few words and if you can't even change that for your own child, then <sighs> if you mess things up for Ishan, you're gonna lose both your children. 
together. I am dead serious. Just, just talk to Ishan. Just talk to them once and and calmly. You know, it's it's. I I can't. I can't even. Can't. <laughs> my oh my, kids these days. Kritika, uh, I maybe maybe we sh- should talk to Kritika once. Were we too hard on her? Too hard? We wasn't hard enough. Not now, and not when she was growing up either. That girl was always such a menace in the no, house. Stop it! Do you know no, how? Stop hard- it, both of you. Yeah, I, I don't understand what is happening, but I do know that I love my Chiku and I will always do no matter what happens. Bhagat, just because you see Jagat in Kritika, you don't get to be evil to her. And you, Kirti, I've never hated you, but I will hate you with all my heart if Chiku uh, takes any wrong step. And I will hate both of you. Now, how do I leave this damn meeting? You press. Uh. <laughs> Boy, did I dodge a real bullet with that divorce? You divorced me, Kirti, not the kids. I I really feel we should talk to Kritika once and calmly. Look, you do whatever you want to do. I have had enough of your wretched children, stuck at home while they were growing up, and you were outside making your whole life and career, huh? they are your children too and and i know I, i i'm sorry i know i wasn't around much when they were kids but i did that all for did you did that all for you huh abandoning me just to get a few extra bucks yeah how noble and kind of his yes kiti are you seriously telling me that you won't talk to kritika even once try try to understand her no i am done She's not my daughter anymore. So, I I am going to talk to her. I I know what I did. Now, how do I send Kritika? Ishan, Ishan. How do I send Ishan um the the invite to this meeting? 